What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is Naptown Nerf Thrifting, episode 11. Man, time has just flown by. I can't believe we're already to episode 11, and now I'm only doing these once a month, and uh, the blasters are just piling up every month, and it's crazy. We have a lot of stuff to get through, so let's get started. Something right off the top. Last thing I actually found this month was a Vulcan tripod. Uh, it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. You know, I guess it's worth a dollar. Could be cool for something. So, yeah. Vulcan tripod. Found a rough cut. I haven't found a ton of these, and this was two bucks. And it was funny because it still has the sticker on there. It says, uh, basically, best performance uh, if you don't leave the darts in there. So, that's kind of funny that that was still on there, but works just fine. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's Got a big one out here. I found a stampede with the batteries in. This thing is heavy with the batteries in. And I paid 69 cents for this. I couldn't believe it was priced at 69 cents. It was crazy. And especially how with the batteries in, you'd think that they'd feel this heavy blaster and they'd want to price it a little higher. But 69 cents. And I haven't found one of these in a while, so it was pretty cool. It came with the 18, one 18 ma uh, round magazine. Uh, no shield. I still haven't found a shield, uh, but it's in really good shape. I was really surprised because it looks really, really good. So I uh, thought that was a pretty cool find, and uh, definitely will probably use this for something. I actually am planning a new Stampede mod at some point, but I have about 20 mods I want to do, and I never seem to get to them. So <laughs> one day. Super so Soaker Arctic Blast. I know I picked this up because this it was sitting at my uh, one of my local Goodwills for several weeks, and I finally decided to pull the trigger on it when it was half price. It was marked at five dollars, so that's why it probably no, no one bought it. So two fifty, I thought that was reasonable for it, so I went ahead and picked it up. It works, so pretty cool find. You can make those shoot darts pretty hard, so that's pretty awesome. And the same at that same store at the same time. This was also five dollars. It's the Flash Flood. It's a pretty sweet one, uh, also. And yeah, I was so I paid two fifty for this. So half price, pretty cool. Uh, I believe this was also half price at that same store, Firefly. Uh, I guess I paid two dollars for it. It was marked at four. One of my favorite blasters. I have a ton of them, and I love them so so much. The stocks are just so comfy. And it's just sweet looking. I love all the gear stuff. It's just cool. So I have a feeling I'm going to run out of room real quick this, this week. But uh, let's keep going. Got a Super Soaker stock. Paid, I guess, a dollar for that. I think I picked one of these up on half price day. So one of them might have been 50 cents. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, a uh, pretty darn good deal for a stock. So that's cool. I think this also was... Uh, that same store half price because I know I wouldn't have paid four dollars for this so I think I paid two for it I actually have never found one of these in decent enough condition to buy before so oh uh, you guys are going to tell me in the comments section but I can't remember the name of this off the top of my head but obviously it's from the dark tag line uh, pretty neat blaster but not the greatest performance but yeah uh, what else do we got here oh even with the dark tag theme got the uh Hailfire here um, in lime green. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, actually. Uh, it was $3, I guess. Um, I think Jill might have picked this one up. But, um, you know, it's in good shape. Uh, good for a collector's item. You know, it's not the greatest blast in the world, but not terrible. Got a Mega Magnus. Uh, I guess we paid $3 for that. I think Jill picked this one up for herself. Um, but seems to work in good shape and you know three dollars isn't too bad for a magnus it's a pretty sweet blaster i do like these a lot let me grab a mega dart and fire it off Ooh. try to get through these pretty quickly so i don't shoot everything but every once in a while we gotta shoot one off don't we there you go works great found two X shots. Uh, I think that's the name of these guys. I guess I paid a dollar ninety-nine. Oh yes, I paid a dollar ninety-nine for each of these because they weren't marked, and that's what they priced them at at the counter. And I guess I decided that that was okay to pay. 
Um, probably wouldn't pay nine, more than 99 cents for these in, in the future, but I got two of them. They're pretty cool blasters. They work pretty well. Um, I do like them. So, uh, yeah, cool finds. Probably go in the uh, Naptown Nerf Club loaner bin for something. And I also found a, uh, what is the name of this blaster? Uh, Crosscut. Crosscut? I think that's what it is, the Crosscut. So, I actually have never owned one of these, so that was a cool find, I thought. Uh, so maybe I'll have to paint this one up sick-like and uh, do something fun with it, but it's kind of a gimmicky back blaster, and those aren't really my thing, but it is fun. That, that's cool. So, neat find, I thought. All right, I picked up a couple things off of Facebook Marketplace. Most of the stuff you see comes from Goodwill, but I did pick up a like a lot. Like I didn't really know exactly what I was getting. I knew one of the items in there, or a couple of the items. This was one of the items. This was not the item I was interested in mostly, but uh, I'll show you that one in a second. Uh, but this is the Ultimate Rapid Blast. It's a pretty cool blaster. It's part of the Busby uh, missile system where they can put all these blasters together. I actually got a thrifted this guy that same day. Um, so this was half price. I remember this was on half price day. And I think this is broken though, unfortunately. Oh, no, maybe this one works. Well, oh yeah, I think it has a small leak in it. I can hear a small leak. So I think it works, but it, it does have some sort of small leak in it. But nevertheless, uh, these two things go together like this there you go and they make uh, and then there's a pistol or something else that can go up here I think it's just a pistol there's I think there might be two versions of pistols but pistol goes up in there and you have yourself a pretty cool little setup so yeah uh, fun fun blaster but to get back to the story I picked up a trunk full of toys with some blasters in it uh, off of Facebook marketplace I think I paid twenty five dollars it was either twenty or twenty five dollars can't remember and I was kind of hoping for more things nerf related in there but it turned out to be mostly not so great but I did feel like I got my money's worth because I grabbed a Raven green flavored but it actually came with a Spectre barrel which is awesome I only have one of these in the elite flavor so uh, that's pretty cool I do love the Spectre barrel and then I got there was it came with a six clip here but I also got the magazine. Where is it? Right here. The magazine came with it. So that's pretty sweet. So pretty awesome find. And, you know, does seem to work. The batteries are very, very low in there. Um, but yeah, Ravens are always a great find. So that's pretty cool. And we'll definitely be doing something with this Raven at some point. I have lots of plans for Ravens. I don't really like cutting them up. I've never cut up a Raven, but I do have a plan to do one integration with a Raven, but before I do that integration, I feel like I need to mod a Raven because I actually have never even modded a Raven for whatever reason. Just one more thing I haven't gotten to, but that's gonna happen soon. So look forward to that, and then possibly an integration down the road, so. All right, moving on. Uh, I did, oh, so along with that, I also got the Elite Spectre folding stock here that comes with the Spectre. I didn't actually get the Spectre, which I thought was a little weird, but the um, the stock is there. And it's a neat stock. It's not the greatest stock. It bends. Somebody needs to create a 3D printed part that goes into this to make this functional. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard, I don't think. But uh, yeah, to make it a little stronger, but what do I know? Anyways, that came with it and uh, this actually might have been in there because there's not a price tag on it, so this might have been a part of it. So this was in there, I think, which is good for the spring because I didn't buy one of these, so this was part of it. Um, and then I think there's this, yeah, there's a Night Finder in there, so Night Finder. And then there was this Recon Stock, and then I think there was a Recon Light, too, in there, so... I don't know where the recon... Oh, I found the recon light. <laughs> recon light. That came with it. So I think that's about all nerf related that came in there. Everything else was probably stuff that I don't even want and I'll probably get rid of. So nothing too special, unfortunately. But let's keep going. Thrifting. 
found this Batman blaster, which was pretty cool. <laughs> and I actually have a second one of these that I found on my trip to Atlanta, and that's in another bag over here. We'll get to that in a second. So I actually found two of these, which was, I thought was kind of crazy. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if this works. I need to look up how this works. Uh, but um, I feel like it's not working well. The other one, I think, is working better. But it's also missing all the ammo. And it's, this takes a lot of specialty ammo. So uh, I don't have any of that. I think there might be one that takes a Mega Dart. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But... It's a pretty sweet blaster and a nice vintage, you know, collector's item find. I wish it had all the stuff with it, but, you know, what are you going to do? It was $2, so. Found complete two, uh, two of them, actually. If I can get them, it off the bag. Laser tag blasters. Uh, these are pretty awesome. They do work. I was actually shooting them each other in the store. So. These... It's still on. I don't even know how to turn these things off. That's the other thing. They just work, and then... Good luck. See, and then this one will probably start working. Yep. Here we go. We're going to do a little test fire here. There we go. Pretty cool. I need to put these on, have Jill put a pair on, and... Uh, play with them around the house, but thought that's pretty neat. All right, let's keep going. Found a Supermax 1500, which is a pretty sweet vintage blaster. Uh, not the best, I don't think, Supermax blaster, but uh, still a cool find. I paid uh, $4 for it, I guess, uh, which is a bit high, but you know, it's not bad. It's cool to find vintage stuff, so I usually pick that stuff up, especially when it's working. Uh, I don't have any of the darts that it shoots because it shoots Laramie darts, unfortunately, but you can rebarrel these to shoot elite darts, so that's pretty cool, and uh, they do shoot them pretty well after that. So, yeah, cool find there. And I found an old school Busby Berserker. Uh, have not found this version before. This is a older one, I do believe, uh, because it shoots a shotgun blast and not a missile out the front. Um, which was interesting. I had not seen that before. I didn't know they even made one like this, to be honest. But it does have a missile on the picture here, so I thought that was kind of weird. And one of my lights just went out, so I apologize if the darkness went down. But yeah, I'm kind of curious about the shotgun thing. So let's go ahead and load it up and shoot it off. Awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. One of them didn't shoot, but uh, probably just too tight. That was a coup start. It was a little maybe too tight on there or something. Uh, the posts on these things are a little funky in my opinion, but yeah, pretty sweet find. I'm pretty excited about this. I guess I paid $3 for it, so definitely well worth that. Uh, working, everything was working, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I remember I got this for like really cheap. Let's see here. 20 cents. <laughs> paid 20 cents for a zombie strike jolt, so that was pretty cool. Well worth 20 cents. Found an AirTech 2000, which is pretty awesome. These things are sweet. Sweet find. Um, have quite a few of the red variant there, but uh, definitely pick those up when I can. And it was $2. Actually, I think I got this on half price day also, so a buck. So that was pretty good because I remember I had to stand in a long line, which is kind of the downside on half price day, but I feel like it was worth it for this guy. So that was a pretty sweet find. I also picked up a Busby Air Max Extreme for a dollar, I guess. Either that or half. It was either half price too. I can't remember. But yeah, I unfortunately I don't think I know this is not one of the uh, bigger plunger tubes like the Panther Gen One Panther has. But uh, that's all right. You know, still kind of neat blaster, and it was only a buck. So. Raider stock, sixty nine cents. So that was pretty sweet find. Forgot I found this one, actually. Quite have quite a few of these now, so that's pretty cool. Always love the Raider stocks, and uh, we'll pick them up every time for the for you know a reasonable price, obviously. Okay, what else? AirTech 3000. 69 cents. I think I got this the same day as I got the Stampede, and I'm just like, 69 cents? Are you kidding me? Absolutely going to pick that up. So, works... So that's pretty sweet. 
Those things are awesome. Another one of these. Again, it was a dollar. I think I did pay half price for one of these, and the other one I think I paid full price for, but, you know, yeah. Like I said, not the bigger tank in this one either. Same sort of deal, um, but still, you know, a decent find. Found another missile blast. This one definitely is broken. As you can tell, this is all kinds of busted. So I don't know if it's just the plunger tubes busted off in there. Hopefully that's the case and the tank still works. But uh, I'll have to take it open to find out. It was... This was half price also, so it was a buck fifty, and you know, I guess it's worth it for a buck fifty to hopefully have a you know a pretty sweet air tank, but we'll have to wait and see. And also half price, I got this guy, so this was fifty cents. Um, but got a good spring in there, so it's kind of a spring donor there. Oh yeah, found some sweet. These are discs for the. Oh, I don't know the name of the toy. But um, it's an in-strike thing. I actually have it over here in the corner. Let me grab it. I'll show you guys what it is. I did. I actually found... I have one of these I found in the past. And I actually found it with these discs. But it was not working. So I just asked the person if I could just have the discs. And they sold me the discs for two bucks. And I think I got six of them. So that's pretty sweet. And I have every part of this except for the remote. And so I don't have the remote and I actually can't use it. So if anybody has a remote that they want to send me... Let me know. We may be able to work out a trade or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, I would love to have the remote to this thing, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what it goes to here in a second. So it goes to this thing, and so yeah, they discs go back here, and it basically you turn it on, it shoots up discs, and it gives you it's like a target, you know, like a kind of like a skeet kind of a shooter deal sort of, um, but kind of fun, and I really would love to work it, but it does not work without the remote, which is kind of a poor design in my opinion, but. Uh, yeah, would love to have the remote to this thing someday. So, pretty cool little thing. Um, yeah, but like I said, I didn't actually pick this part of it up because I already had one and the other one didn't seem to work. So I found an Element. Uh, this was one of the later pickups after I got back from Atlanta, um, which I didn't, was really disappointed. I had been gone for like a week. I came back and didn't find anything, which means there's a lot of you guys out there grabbing Nerf Blasters, which is awesome but also disappointing, <laughs> but that's all right. I'm, I'm willing to share, and I actually leave a lot of stuff that I find nowadays if it's not something that I really desire or don't have, I usually don't pick it up, especially if it's not a really good price. So yeah, there's still lots of Nerf out there for you guys, so don't worry, I don't grab it all. But pick this guy up, it was two bucks, and the element is pretty sweet, um, has lots of dart storage, so cool blaster. So I almost forgot to show you guys one of the coolest finds I got was a basically brand new Chaos. I mean, it was brand new. It was looked like it had been opened, but I don't think it had been used. Uh, I did get the magazine with it, but I already took it out because I used it. With my... Whoa. <laughs> so there's the Chaos. Uh, I'm sure it works just fine. I haven't put batteries in or anything. And I do have the magazine here that it came with, uh, but I, like I said, I already took it out to use it in the last Snaptown Nerf War. So now I have four of these guys, and uh, hopefully when they start selling them on Amazon, I'll get a couple more. Uh, but I think they're going to be 18 bucks, which is kind of expensive, but a lot, actually a lot cheaper than I thought they were going to be. So hopefully that's the price. That's what I've heard. And it also came with 39 of the 40 balls, so that was pretty sweet. And I've already added those to the uh, Rival Ball collection, so... That's cool. And then I also got this with it, which is another, I think there's 25 in there. Hopefully they're all there, but um, yeah. Anyways, so more rival rounds there. And I got all that for 25 bucks, which I thought was well worth it with the balls and the magazine and the blaster, especially if the magazine by itself is going to be $18. You know, an extra seven bucks for the rest of it sounded pretty good. So yeah, uh, so that was a pretty cool find. Uh, I got this off of, also off of Facebook Marketplace. It didn't come from Goodwill. And uh, so those that that's a good place to check out too. There's a lot of apps um, that you can check out and get pretty good deals. And then you don't have to go searching for, you know, to go and drive around all these Goodwills and hope to find stuff and then just waste your time. But you usually do pay a little bit more. But sometimes I've found stuff for absolutely free on there before. So you just have to keep looking and... Uh, yeah, you never know what you might find. Now, on to the stuff I got on my trip to Atlanta, which is, I found some cool stuff, and I didn't really make that many stops because it's a long trip, and I didn't have a lot of space, so 
Let's see what I found. Found a Boomco Rapid Madness, which I'm not sure works. It does seem to hold air. All right, I'm going to see if this thing works. Let's hope it does. It's pretty hard to pump. I don't really like that. Works. Awesome. Now I have to pick up all those darts. But that's pretty sweet. I actually found one that worked. The other one I found did not work, so that was disappointing, but this one does. So, pretty sweet. I found, like I said, another one of those Batman blasters. This one was also $3. I think it did seem to work. Uh, I don't remember. Ow. <laughs> Fail. Uh, that one pops up. I don't know. It's a pretty complicated blaster. So it's kind of takes some... I know someone out there knows exactly how this thing works, but um, I can't remember now. There's lots of gadgets to it. Which is cool. That's what makes it so fun. But um, Yeah. Batman blaster. It's a sweet. Once again, doesn't have the stuff, though. One blue AirTech 3000. And I paid... Uh, I think I paid like a dollar fifty for this, maybe or something like that. Can't remember. Okay, found a second blue AirTech 3000. So that's pretty sweet. This one was three dollars, but I think they're definitely. I'll pick them up if they're three or under. I have quite a few and probably enough to make a blanket like my friend Chicken did. So maybe I'll have to do that for fun someday. Just send him a pic because I think he'd think that's pretty cool. But. Pretty sweet blasters. These are pretty awesome, and I definitely one other blaster I want to get around to modding, put real loading slots and some PETG in there, and make it a pretty sweet blaster. So <sighs> I wish I had more time to do these mods. Found a original Alpha Trooper, which is pretty sweet, especially since it came with the 18-round drum, which are always awesome to find. Uh, it does seem to work, but these are not quite up to par anymore with the reverse plunger tube system so uh, not the greatest find not as good as the elite EAT but it was pretty sweet to find the uh, drum and I haven't really found I think there's only like the second alpha trooper I found so um, and I've never found an elite one so one day one day but uh, still sweet find and uh, I think I paid I don't remember what I paid for this $1.50 or something I think it was pretty reasonable so uh, they don't put the stickers on them in, in, in uh, Georgia, so they usually write on there. And uh, Oh, the writing came off of this one. I think they did give it to me for like $1.50 or something. I can't remember. Grabbed a Rapid Fire 20, and this would have been a sweet, sweet find, except it is broken. As you can see, this thing is all kinds of bent out of shape and really messed up. And Jesus, that thing is long. I wonder why. So this tube is definitely not working i'm hoping that's the only problem if the tube is fixed and maybe the rest of it works i don't know because this app has zero seal it's definitely not pumping anything so it's hard to know but the trigger seems really loose so i'm guessing there's more wrong to it than that but uh but yeah um these are pretty sweet and has a selector switch between single and rapid fire but uh, doesn't work unfortunately um but it was only two bucks, so I thought it was worth it just to see and to have in the collection. So found a double strike. I think it was a dollar. So, you know, not too bad of a deal. Found a complete iron fire with all the attachments. And I think I paid like a dollar fifty. No, that it was it says it was three ninety two. Or two no, sorry. Two ninety two. So three bucks basically. But pretty sweet. Uh, it has all the attachments, so that's why I grabbed it, because I have an iron fire already, but the attachments are pretty cool, and yeah, so I grabbed it for that, and uh, yeah, not a bad find. All right, I think we're down to the last thing, and that is a Titan with a missile. So that was pretty sweet. I actually have never found a Titan missile before, so I was pretty excited about that. Oh, wrong trigger. <laughs> it up here and see if it works <laughs> works just fine so that's pretty cool really excited about the missile find and since it definitely is in one piece that's also a good thing and titan's always a good find i actually found this in like the middle of nowhere in georgia we went to an outlet mall and then we went to lunch in like some little town and went for a little walk and there was an um, atlanta mission thrift shop there and i was like well I might as well go in i'm right here and found this thing and there's also a tech target but i didn't pick that up and 
they wanted only five bucks for this with the Titan missile, so I thought that was reasonable and uh, well worth the five dollars. And and it goes to a good cause. A lot. I actually wish I could only thrift and find stuff at places like that because Goodwill is a little bit, you know. I that's why I don't pay at seen prices for blasters at Goodwill because. It doesn't always go to the right places. That CEO makes way too much money, but that's never neither here nor there. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, this the five dollars definitely went to a good cause in this case, so that's pretty awesome too. And uh, I found a Titan with a missile, so sweet. Well, that's it for Naptown Nerf Thrifting episode eleven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell next to the subscribe subscribe button. And you'll get notifications to when I post a video. I try to post two to three a week. So not all of them are thrifting, but they're all pretty awesome videos. I do a lot of reviews, a lot of uh, mod guides, a lot of you know mods. So a lot of fun stuff. And I think you guys could enjoy all those videos. So check them out. Thanks for watching. Peace.